Hungry Pearson? It'll be ready when it's ready. You busy, Arthur? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on then, you miserable bastards. Yeah. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Oh, Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Most 
Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! Ah! Oh. We got more of the bastards on this side! Where? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. More on the right here. Yeah. Got a hand. 
nicely done, Bill. They teach you that in the army, too. Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. If we don't get up out of here soon, we're charcoal. Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there while you're ah! making an old man suffer. You have? New man. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go get my. Do what you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, stick. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move.
strong one, boy. Yeah. What is this? Hey, get yourself out of there. Hey, better not have a problem with this friend. Yeah. She was already gone. Tell her. I never stopped. Yeah.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. This ain't the time for cold feet. Yep. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. The bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry, making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. this ridge. They should be here in a little bed. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They 
they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. Just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Stay luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Shit! Now we're being robbed! 
Saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will ya? Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well... This little mess. Go on, then. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <sighs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Time to go, boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
damn lock. Give me the damn key. It's a stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. <coughs> Mister, help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here. Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey, get in here! You all right there? Ain't gonna harm you anymore. Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Okay, fellas.
boy. What? did me right. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No. It was just a uh, local, local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? Just in time, Mr. Morgan. And I'm sorry for being foolish. It was an old thing, and my emotions got the better of me. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Thanks. Hey, if you could give Dutch. me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the Blue like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna think about it. Ah, now I could turn this into something special. Thank you, Arthur. Hi, Jack. Good morning. You're welcome. How much thanking does one man need? You owe me. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Mr. Bale? Hello? Ah, uh, Miss Roberts. Hi, Mr. Pearson. How are you? All right, that's enough for me.
You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? On the run from the law, dressed as a lawman. Only you. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent. For no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some food. these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. 
That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Come on, I'll lead you there. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Get down and come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there.
Are you seeing the Fetty? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? <sighs> got a gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, hey, to the left of you. Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? All right, some tents. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. You gonna make a call? You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be! <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Don't people. Don't overdo it. Be. Now, uh, are you, uh, have you, will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be, or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkie. I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. 
Sounds like a plan. Let's go see wagons, okay? This could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. We need to get these back! Idiot! Come on! G up! Fall in! Right. Coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one hour, whack! We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You look just the opposite. The goddamn. Ah! Awful, let's go. They might be on to us. Can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Good for this you. is Adler. 
I don't think this lawman disguise is working, Arthur. 